Well, welcome back to the channel guys. We're in Bristol and we have just found Avon and Somerset Police Canesham. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a little walk around, see exactly what we can spy. try and get some sort of um, impression of the size of the place. I understand this is a, a rather large station. Obviously with all the closures of the smaller ones such as Staple Hill and a couple of others. So We're not going to be able to get a good look at the back of the place other than there is a set of gates there is a, a slipway down not too many police vehicles in at the moment so we've got three cars and a van at the moment Not a huge place, fairly sizable. It's not far off the ring road around Bristol, so a fairly good link to the M4 and M5, not too far away, depending on the traffic situation, of course, if it was if it was busy it would be more of a problem so we're just gonna have a little wander around the car park area obviously this is an entrance bit here so we'll have another little look around this side there seems to be few more vehicles so obviously no unauthorized access police personnel only looks like this is the the washing station see if we can get a slightly better shot there's somebody just washing uh, one of the cars so we've got scientific investigations one of the vehicles uh, four vans and a car and then out the back you've got the riot wagon so we'll just see if we can get a slightly better angle on double fence here guys so you can't really see a great deal there is uh, a couple of cars coming in so um, we'll just have a little wander around this bit for a second as I said there's a couple of cars coming in one marked one unmarked so uh, plenty of parking spaces Plenty of bollards, uh, two disabled parking spaces by the look of it, just two though, for the blue badge holders. So, uh, duty solicitor parking bay and then other visitors bays over there. So we've got, um, so we've got a marked car coming in. WX17 FNE I'm assuming that there's a bit of um, waiting on to go in that the procedure here um, he's actually 
parked quite a way away from the gates, this fella, so I don't know if there's a hold up or if he's hoping to pick somebody up. So we'll just give it a couple of minutes and uh, see what the crack is. I'm starting to get behind all the buildings now, so it's starting to get a little bit fresh. I wish I'd left the car with me coat on. But, uh, yeah, so... A little bit of a traffic problem. Another, another fella's just come in behind, he's pulled off the road. You're not getting in's got nothing to do with me, has it? I'm, I'm just afraid of my I don't know what to do. <laughs> I didn't know if there was a procedural thing if there's a man with a camera, don't open the gate or something. So, because okay. I don't want to, don't want to hold you guys up, obviously. Yeah. Oh, this will probably explain why. So we got a custody van coming out, guys. Um, so obviously that's why this guy's waiting. So, uh, the wonderful crowd from Serco. So I'm assuming they've, well, I'm, I say I'm assuming, I'm assuming they've picked somebody up from here that's probably been bound over or remanded or something, and um, they're going to be taking them off to, well, I don't know where the local Nick is from here, to be honest with you. So, um, but yeah, here's the boys from girls from Serco. I always call these vehicles purveyors of human misery because you're not in them unless there's been a problem in life. And uh, they're actually recruiting according to the sticker on the back. But, um, yeah, so that, that explains why there was a bit of a hold up. Obviously, uh, they're waiting for him to come out. This guy's obviously waiting for the gate to close. So we're just going to have a little, little wander down. No point in zooming in yet. What we'll do is we'll wait for the gate to open again at some stage. But you can see quite clearly that uh, this is the entrance and the exit for this bit. I don't know if there's a loop that goes all the way around, but we've got um, we've got the oh sorry we've got the phone of uh, disconnection. So uh, for public use. So we might have a little look in in a minute, and we might not. A little scan round. We've got uh, a couple coming this way. They haven't got anybody with them, so we're okay to film. Obviously, if they had uh, a prisoner in tow, we'd have probably just um, turned the camera away. So uh, that sort of explains that. So, Good, afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you? I'm starting to get chilly. I should have brought my <laughs> coat with me. It's yeah, in the shadow. I am filming as well. I think we're quite good. Thank well. you very much. I expect nothing less from Avon and Somerset yeah. to be professional and yeah. to, to do what you're meant to do. So, um, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. I, it might even say it properly if I try. <laughs> would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. So, you can I'm tell PC. I'm getting cold, can't you? Sorry. Yeah, no worries, worries. Yeah, um, I'm PC1896. Very awesome. I'm from this station. Yep. Hello. PC1473, Georgia Briggs from King Station. Thank you very much, both of you, for being professional. No We're just here, basically, because you've come back. <laughs> We're just making sure that everything's sort of above board and there's nothing sort of going on in the background. I especially. think you know what I'm doing. I don't. I oh, you don't, don't. generally. I generally don't. No. Oh my word. Um, okay, so where do you want me to start then? From the beginning. From the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was born a long, long time yeah. ago. Um, Mum and Dad stayed together till yeah. I was fifteen. <laughs> no, I've worked twenty years. <laughs> You're very kind, aren't you? Hey? 
Um, so yeah, what I'm doing is I'm out and about. I've been down to, in the last couple of weeks this yeah. is, so I've been down to the HQ. Oh yeah. Uh, in the middle of bloody nowhere. Yeah. Um, had a great interaction with a couple of your colleagues, Nat and Nat. Yeah. Um, they were that kind. They even offered me a drink and I said, you know, that'd be great if you've got some water in the car. I said, no, no, we'll go back in and get you some. So they went all the way back round. Um, and I like to film police stations. I like yeah. to get interaction with you guys because yeah. you're the front line of everything that goes on. Um, I like to get flashing lights. Um, this one's just washed the car, so I don't know if she's a civvy or not. But uh, yeah, so um, people do this all around the country. Yeah, and more and more sort of frequent, isn't that, I guess? It is, yeah. And what the main aim is for me yeah. is to gauge your guys' reaction to a man with a camera. Um, because in many stations around the country and especially the Met they are not a good advert for the police force um, they're still abusing their powers they're quoting outdated sections of, of law yeah. now I'm one of those that believe if you're a doctor you can't know everything about everything you know if you've got a speciality of old people you're not going to know much about kids yeah. so I, I don't blame them for getting things wrong but what what I'm against is like, if you were to say, we suspect you of doing, I'm gonna come back to you actually, because you're a good looking chap. Um, I suspect you of doing, uh, what do I use, hostile intelligence, hostile oh, cover, yeah. whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna search you under section yeah. whatever. If you got it wrong, I would just say to you respectfully, check what section, because you wanna get it right. Yeah. I can't expect you to know it. The two girls I spoke to the other day, they didn't know. Yeah. We had a great chat. We were talking for about an hour. Um, I like to educate you guys to what we're doing. Hopefully you can educate me to a few things. Um, I like to think I'm pretty up on what's going on, but you never know. Um, and it's that really, it's, it's, I hope to get the good interactions because I respect what you do. I don't want you abusing your powers with anybody. Um, I believe there's a railway station quite close to here. There's a few, yeah. Um, and there was a guy I can't tell you exactly how long ago it was because they had to wait for your guy's body footage. Okay. I'm not recording on that, by the way, at the moment. Um, and he was, apparently he's got mental health issues, British Transport Police and a couple of your guys. He ended up being tasered twice. Uh, t uh, parva, they call yeah. it, don't they? I don't yeah. know where yours is. Parvered yeah. and kicked when he went down. Now, that's wrong. That's wrong on every level because all he was doing was refusing to give his details. They'd accused him of trespass. They said they had a witness, but he wasn't trespassing at the time. Now, for me, and correct me if I'm wrong, if he's not trespassing then, warn him. Tell him the risks of trespassing on the tracks, how death can occur, stuff like that. Let him go. Mm. Now, they didn't necessarily know he had mental health issues. You know, because that's something you guys have to ascertain when you're talking yeah, to somebody sort of pretty to quickly. Value yeah, um, but it was OTT, you know, so um, we don't want to see that. We want to see this relaxed approach. You've come across, I mean, you're, you're pretty relaxed, you can tell. You've got a confidence about you because you're a big lump anyway. I do worry about smaller officers, I've got to be honest. Um, that's what the kit's for, though. It is, but I'm, I'm old school. I'm one of those guys that keeps I'm doors open for you people. Might be then, uh, I couldn't possibly give no. you any information that might incriminate yeah, me no, in any ongoing investigations. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So we've got a unfortunately we've got to jet off to a job. Of course, yeah, we yeah, yeah. Sort of I never like to hold you guys up. No, that's fine. Would you mind if you provide me your details? It's up to you. Why would I want to do that? Just so we can say we spoke to you, here's what you said. Well, you can say you met this this quite pleasant, amiable <laughs> yeah. citizen journalist who was very pleasant, who wasn't wearing his mask for anything other than when he goes shopping. Um, in fact, I'm glad I got it on because it's keeping me a bit warmer. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, we don't tend to give it away. That's fine. It's, um, it's, it's up to you. And the reason is, obviously, if we visit a lot of police stations, and I've done pretty much all of them, even Staple Hill, which didn't even open... Um, and you do put us in the system and you do check us out and we don't want that because it happens all the time and then you suddenly That's get fine. pinged up and vehicles are acknowledged yeah. and, and all this fine. sort of stuff so we don't so we respectfully recline yeah. not recline decline, decline even yeah. um, appreciate why you want to ask yeah. you know part That's of your fine. procedure this day and age we sort of like to um, 
check a bit more thorough than we used to do in the past, I guess. As you can sort because of, of things that happen. Yeah. 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 But no, it's been nice chatting to you. Yeah. We've got to literally... Of course, now, yeah, yeah. Could, could I just ask you one question? Yes. Uh, I saw on the news that there was a shooting. Yes. Now, I'm not going to ask you any details yeah. about that at all, other than to say, I know knife crime is pretty steady around here. It, it could be a lot better. Mm -hmm. Is gun crime on the rise? Not that we're aware of. Good. That's, and I wouldn't want yes, to comment, comment on that either. Yeah. You know, well, yeah, I know. It's, it's a slippery one, isn't it? But you've got to ask, you know. No. Um, can I just ask as well, before you go? Yes. How long have you been in the force? Uh, five years. Excellent. Coming up to three years. Three years. And you're both still enjoying it? You're not yes. finding it too... It has its moments. Of course. Job, yeah, yeah. But no, it's a good job to get involved in it. Yeah. Good. Good. Nice meeting you. And you guys, stay safe out there. One final jumper. One final quick question, though, I will ask, and I I nick this off a guy in America. Out on the streets, what would you say your worst enemy is? And it's not a trick question, I promise you. Yeah. That must be a nightmare. Alcohol fueled incidents, and yeah. Okay. Interesting. It's quite hard to gauge someone's behaviour when they're under the influence. So yeah, it's yeah. a difficult one. For I'm it. going to make a suggestion for you. And I say this out of respect for you guys going forward. Yeah. I think, and a lot of people think, your worst enemy is a bad policeman. Because if I just had a run-in with a bad one, mm -hmm. I might have been completely different to you guys. It does have and that's not that. fair on you. Yeah. Um, Previous interactions with different people influence your way of approaching the very much so. Time, so yeah 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 but thank you for hey no thank you for being yeah. professional polite friendly both smiling that's what we want to see now what's this lady like if i go in i don't think she'd appreciate it to I be honest with you. okay she's no. very busy because one of her, so. yeah i just wanted to look at i don't want to speak to her i just wanted to get a couple of pictures of your signs and stuff as you know i'm perfectly entitled yeah. to uh, especially if no one's in. I wouldn't go in if somebody was in. But I know some of the desk staff do get a bit funny. Just bear in mind, she could be on the phone. Um, yeah, I always watch for um, things like that. Well, she's not yeah. at the moment. If you're going in that can you just say, I don't want to speak to we're her. Not going in there. Oh, you're we're not going in that way? We, we, yeah. just have, we literally just have to go. All right, in that case, take care, stay safe. I'm going to chance my arm. If she says leave, I'll leave. I won't cause anyone. Courtesy, you could just not film what's within and have a chat with her and gauge it from there. That'd be ideal. Hey, sorry, I misunderstood what you Don't I'm film to see what's in. Inside the building, yeah. Well, I got, it's only the, the reception area, which is perfectly it's legal, isn't it? The station, yeah, but it's perfectely legal, isn't it? I'll courtesy of us again. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> we, 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 I do have to jump, off now. Listen, if, if I don't go in now, my viewers are going to give me so much stick. <laughs> so I am going to go in. So I No, I'm not live. I appreciate what you've said, and I'm not being discourteous, honestly, but I'm just going to have a quick look. Okay. All right, take care, guys. Stay safe, honestly. Cool, that's warmer. So there we are, guys. This is just a quick look inside. Um, plenty of seats. Oh, there's a machine here for getting your, your munchies. I'll just pan back round. So there's a munchie machine. Obviously, there's a couple of rooms for interviews and that sort of stuff. Let's come back around this way. A room for solicitors. Obviously, that lady doesn't want filming, so we're not going to hang around. And then it goes through to other parts of the police station. So there we are, guys. Not a lot to see in there. Those two guys were just off on a job. So we have to say, you know, big respect to them. Um, very professional. Notified about body cam straight away. No issues there. Um plenty of cameras around so it's not as if they're at risk of anything um, I'll just have one final little walk around here because when you see loads of spaces you got to say why would a police officer choose to park on the pavement a little bit obscure so anyway that lady's finished cleaning the car not a lot of house happening here nice good interaction so I'm not going to bore you with it they were obviously off onto another job so we will leave them to it um, it's not a bad looking station it's a bit of a weird bit of a weird design if you want my honest opinion 
Um, yeah, a bit of a weird. Just so as you know, if you think I'm having problems with the gimbal today, I'm working it left handed. My old injury is causing me a lot of uh, elbow pain at the moment, but not enough to stop me coming out and getting some footage for you. So we'll finish off with a picture of the sign, guys. So there we go, we've got Avon and Somerset Police, Canesham Police Centre. And it's the Avon and Somerset Constabulary. So that's Expose and Educate. We're going to knock that one on the head, so stay safe. And I will catch you on the next one, guys.